Hey, hey, Saturday, y'all. It's your brother Van Silk. Rocking. Thank you, Katie, at the house in Richmond, Virginia. Um, it's a dance troupe representing the culture of hip hop. Thank you so much. I got the sweatshirt and the and this shirt yesterday. I had to rock it this morning. Okay, now let's talk about Javante Tank Davis. Oh God, lightweight, twenty nine wins by twenty. He's twenty nine zero with twenty seven knockouts. Now Tank Davis been in some trouble in Maryland. And, uh, I don't get it. Who are these guys' advisors? Now, Tank Davis was sentenced to 90 days home detention after the hit and run crash. <laughs> A lot of us thought he was going to go to jail. But I guess you help the community, you donate money or whatever. He's been in several hit and runs and incidents. On May 5th, the 20-year-old lightweight was sentenced over his hit and run crash, which injured four people. And many expected, and many expected him, yeah, we expected him to be jailed. Let me get this right now. But he pled guilty to four traffic offenses in the plea deal. He avoided prison term. Instead, he was sentenced to 90 days at home. Three years probation plus 200 hours of community service. Now, Thursday, June 1st, it was an impromptu hearing because they said he violated his term of the our house arrest. And now he's been ordered to serve the rest of 90 days behind bars. Now, this is what happened. Accordingly, he put him in staying with the trainer. He said so the trainer house was too small. So he left the home and he went to the Four Seasons Hotel and I guess he rented out a suite or whatever. Now, here's the problem. When you're home detention, most likely you have a monitor. You just can't get up and go. You have to get permission. And you could avoid it by, by going to jail for the next 60 days or whatever by having your lawyer say, listen, we just want to move Tank to the hotel because the place he's in is too small, he's uncomfortable, whatever the situation was. I'm quite sure the judge would have granted that because I'm quite sure the only way you, you got home detention is because you was allowed to stay with somebody who was going to make sure you wouldn't get in trouble. Now, he only served less than 30 days of the sentence before being sent to jail. Now, if it's as soon as his sentence began on the day of May 5th, Davis would be in prison for just over two months and due to release on August 3rd. Now, I don't I don't get it. When you when you are in this type of high profile and got people around you, you supposed to have somebody in your corner to get in touch with the courts, the judge, and ask for permission. And the judge could say yes or no, and I'm quite sure the judge would have said yes. So now you gotta serve behind bars. Hey, I'm quite sure they're gonna treat you different because of your high status, but the whole point, you could avoid it all that. Home detention means you probably could have stood outside the house, sat in front of the house, got the air. You can't do none of that right now. You in jail. And see, a lot of these celebrities think they got special privilege. No, your ass will go to jail. I don't get it sometimes, man. And I like Tank Davis. I mean, he had another incident in September. Plea, plea, he accepted a plea deal over that charge. But it was rejected. The one the victim made a passionate 
speech for a hearing. It's crazy. Um, when he got in that accident in September, the girl was pregnant. And she told him how she looked Davis in the eyes and asked him for help before he fled. She was left with a serious knee injury, was still struggling with, and also undergo gallbladder surgery following the incident. And she said she begged Mr. Davis. I looked him in his eyes. She told the court, I have to get to my home, get home to my daughter. I'm pregnant. He never once came over to help me. He got his things and left. And Smith, she wanted the courts to know that she won't be satisfied with anything other than a period of incarceration in order to make sure this person gets the message. Now she has a wish, but it's, the point in the matter is, you know, um, they had gave him home detention. He's been out there in one or two accidents and I'm not gonna drag this out. I ain't gonna say he's young, he's making mistakes. It's the people around you. I even know, listen, if you're in home detention, you're in home detention, okay? Let's not do anything to get the judge mad. Now, if you had a monotone or whatever, I'm quite sure somebody is checking on you. Well, we decided to move to the hotel. Like, you don't make that decision. That's not something you'd make. That is something for the courts to make. They already gave you one. They gave you one ruling. You stay here for 90 days. See, sometimes black people feel they just, because they stay in a, such a different state, that they can just do what they want to do. No. I just say black people, people of high status, they, they can just do what they want to do. No, it doesn't work that way. Don't care how much money you got. It don't work that way. That judge got the power, not you. All I can say is, Tank Davis, I wish you, Whatever demons you might be fighting on the other side of driving, whatever is going on, I pray for you too. Because the easy come, easy go. And you work hard to get to where you got to. But it's important that you get the right people. Sometimes it's important for you to have a separate advisor. Not the coach, not the trainer, not your manager, an advisor. Somebody who can say, listen, nah, you can't do that. We got to go to the courts. Call your lawyer. Let your lawyer work it out. That's it. This is your brother Van Silk. I'm down in my house. You can check me on rumble.com. You can check me out on youtube.com. And you can check me out on Spotify for, for podcasters. Shout out to the house, to Katie, Javante Davis, my brother. Base. <laughs>